Well, hello, boys and girls, ladies and gents, and members of the Big Red Food Army. It's your boy, Big Red, for another Big Red's Brew Review. I'm just hoping this video actually comes out, because I just got finished doing, about an hour ago, I did a food review, Fast Food Fat Man. The, the beginning part of me buying the food came out. I got home, started the camera up. Did most of the eating. It freaking glitched and gave me some kind of error message. But it looked like it kept recording. And then I uh, it stopped. So I stopped it, started it again. And it has the beginning, it has the end. But all the part of me eating was gone. So... I'm so aggravated, so frustrated. It is definitely time for a big red brew review. So, and plus I'm in pain, I'm hurting. And uh, I don't get any pain pills or anything like that for pain. It's just, I live with pain constantly. So, let's have a beer. Hopefully it helps me get some sleep. What are we drinking tonight? Tonight we are making an attempt to drink Shiner Strawberry Blonde. This is made by uh, a Texas company. It's Their brewery is halfway between Houston and San Antonio, a little closer to San Antonio. Uh, this is one of their summer, uh, summer seasonal beers. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Uh, usually they make darker beers and whatever, but it says made with petite Texas strawberries. It's ripe for the drinking. Uh, let's see. Every drop of Shiner is brewed in Shiner. Because there is a place called Shiner, Texas. And that's where this is made. It's a 12 ounce bottle. Got a matching little lid there. Uh, ripe for the drinking. The town of Shiner, Texas, population 2,069 people, is known for beer. The town of Petite, Texas, population 3,260, is known for strawberries. This summer, the best of both worlds have come together, and you're holding the results in your hand brewed with juicy homegrown strawberries from the strawberry capital of texas and a mix of pale and wheat malts for a crisp finish the shiner strawberry blonde is Ripe for the drinking all summer long. All right. So there you have that little story for that. Um, let's see. What's the alcohol per volume? And it's hard to read this. Natural and flavors. And without my, that's the date. Where's the alcohol per volume at on this thing? It should be on here somewhere. Four point seven five. Finally found it. It's real tiny right there. Anyway, let's get into this. Oh, what do you know? It was a twist top. Oh well. Man, right off the bat, opening it us up. Holy crap! I got punched in the face with the smell of strawberries. Wow, it smells wonderful. I don't even like beer, y'all. I just do this because, A, I thought it would be funny to do beer reviews. And, B, you know, 
who's going to give you a more honest opinion? Somebody who's, oh, I love beer, and oh, this beer is great, and this beer is great. I, I'm going to tell you if it tastes good or not. I mean, I ain't fat because I don't like the taste of food and the taste of things. So, here's to you. I don't know, it's got a weird taste. It don't taste like beer. It don't taste like a strawberry soda. But what's weird was, as soon as I opened it up, I got punched in the face with the smell of strawberries. It kind of tastes like beer mixed with a wine cooler, actually. I don't know how... And see, this is the one that I was most jazzed about trying. Out of the six that I bought this week. And I don't know. It's definitely interesting, but yay, the loud ass neighbors. I think the problem is it's got more of a beer taste than a strawberry taste. But it tastes like a beer mixed with a strawberry wine cooler. Badly executed. Wow. So far as... You know, I don't like to bring up other products in a certain review. But... So far, out of the flavored fruity beers... I'm thinking Red's has it down. I've had Red's apple ale before. I've had Red strawberry ale. Red strawberry ale's fire. I need to find some of that. Uh, but the last one I reviewed was what? Red's peach ale? And it was out of this freaking world. This, I would actually drink that again. This, not so much. It's definitely not your typical beer taste, that's for sure. But I think they missed the strawberry. It's like... The beer got in a Ferrari and took off. And the strawberry got in a Yugo and took off. And just never caught up with it. You know, it's my best analogy. You know what I mean? The strawberry's just not here. Dave there? Dave's not home. No, the strawberry's not home. See, I don't know about that, do y'all? If y'all know what movie that's from, let me know down in the comments. It's Dave. No, Dave's not home. No, this is Dave. No, Dave's not home. No, man, this is Dave. Dave's not home, man. Y'all know what that is? Let me know in the comments. Dave's not here. Neither.
still these strawberries, you know what I'm saying? I was going to do a snack attack review after this, but man, this has got my taste buds all all over the map, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, this is this just ain't my bag, baby. I don't know. I definitely won't recommend this, and I definitely won't be drinking it again. A couple more swallows, and I'm... If I was wasteful, I'd probably go dump this down the drain. All right, there. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? Shiner for your strawberry blonde. And that's what some people call this, a strawberry blonde. Like my hair was strawberry blonde when I was a kid. Got a little more red as I got older, but I used to like to say it was a strawberry blonde. Not so much like this, though. You know what I'm saying? So Shiner for your strawberry blonde summer seasonal limited beer. Uh, I'm going to give you a two. Two flip-flops. Wasn't that good. I've had worse, but this isn't that good. Um, Yeah, two flip-flops is all you get, buddy. So, over here, subscription button. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done so already. Next to that is a notification bell, ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Click that and you will be notified when I have new content, because sometimes subscribing just isn't enough. Over here, thumbs up, thumbs down. Bow, bow, boof, hit me with one. Ooh, you saw that elbow? Boof, hit me with one. Doesn't matter which, just let me know that you're watching. We like these better. And... I'm so tired, y'all. I forgot my ending. Ain't that a bitch? <clears throat> and this is my first beer I had since the last brew review. It's just that I'm not tired. Um, but yeah, down below is a description box with links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as links to this channel's homepage where you, the viewer, that's you, can find all my older videos. And I got them separated by series. You might call them categories. I call them series. To make it easier for you to find what you're looking for. Life is hard enough Watching this jackass drink a brew shouldn't make it harder. Also, there's a link to uh, my friend's website. He's the one who makes all my t-shirts. Now they're all for sale to the general public and my viewers. So, look down below. There's a link for that. And if you don't want to look at the link for that, the web address is... T-E-E-I-M-P dot com. That's t -E dot com. And then if you go that route, my link will go straight to my page on his page, on his website. But if you go to the website, go to the side over there, scroll down until you find the Big Red Show. You'll find all my, well, not all of them because they're not all up yet, but I think there's nine, nine or ten different designs on a multitude of different colors. Because, you know, who knows what color shirt y'all want. So we put the things on every color that it looks good on. Um, and there's like 55 or 54 different things to choose from. And then, while you're there, go to his different things. He does t-shirts for anime, sci-fi, um, comic book, um video games, and stuff of that nature. 
So check out his t-shirts as well. And also down below is the tip jar if you want to sponsor a brew review. If you want to buy me a beer, that's what the PayPal's for. <laughs> buy me a brew. Give you a shout out and we'll drink a beer together. All right. So with that being said, no, you don't have to donate nothing in the uh, PayPal. But if you want to, that's what it's there for. To help this channel get new equipment, sponsor a video, sponsor a meal, what, whatever it is, it's there. If you want to, know that you don't have to. Just watch the ads. Eventually, I'll hopefully, I'll make some money on YouTube. I don't know. Ever since the, the crash of 2017's YouTube, I don't know if I'll ever get paid, to be honest with you. I'm just enjoying myself making videos for you guys and interacting with you. Um, so as always, down below is a comment section. Type me out a comment. I'll type you one back. Show me yours and I'll show you mine. And as always, tell your mom, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma. Share this video with your family and friends. Show them how you... You, 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 hey, you over there too, I see you, you, all of you, show show your friends and family how you've been getting down with Big Red. They might want to get down with Big Red too. You never know, they might want to crack one open and have a sip with your boy. But you won't know unless you share this video. And caring is sharing and sharing is caring. <clears throat> so, this has been Big Red for another Big Red's Brew Review. Oh yeah, also... Only one person commented last time about my idea. Next time I do a brew review, maybe I should do like, do all the brew reviews one right after the other. And maybe by the last brew review, I'd be totally shit-faced. So if y'all want to see that, comment down below. And from my day one sub to my newest sub, I love each and every one of y'all. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I know y'all could be doing some other crap in your life that's probably way more important than watching me drink a beer or eating a meal. But I'm glad you choose to spend it with your boy. It means a lot. So this has been Big Red for another Big Red's Brew Review. And I'll see you next time when we belly up to the bar. I need to go get some sleep. I am wiped and in pain.